Nation Games champion and a Paralympic bronze medalist, Meha Sawa of Poland. Please lower the bar to 120 kilograms, red high 13. Kalashnikov of Uzbekistan, uh, first major championship, but competed in the World Cup in Eger in Hungary back in May. Marcos Matamala. Of the 19 competing, nine have major championship medals to their name. Here's the Chilean champion from Sorno in the south, Marcos Matamala. Gunning for 120 straight away here. The world record holder is competing in this. Shuri, having watched the women's 86 kg event, fancies uh, tilt himself. But anyway, that is a long way away. We'll be seeing 57 lifts, at least. Here's the first of them from Marcus Matamala. I'd say a relatively simple 120. And it is three out of three. Up and running. Three out of three. And Matamala without... from Kazakhstan, Roman Yelgin. Roman Yelgin next for Kazakhstan from Almaty, his first major championship. Hundred and thirty five is his target. Heaviest first round attempt in group B will be hundred and ninety five and in the position overall two hundred and thirty. What record is two four three? That'll be under threat, you would imagine tonight. Just approaching nine PM local time in Mexico City. So if you stayed up in Europe to watch this, well done. Bar when it rose. Definitely wasn't straight, so it's three red lights. And no lift for Roman Yelp. So for Georgia, Akaki Cincharadze from Tbilisi. Or, as I've actually learned for the first time from a football commentary colleague.
will get used to seeing him rise up the leaderboard because that took very little mm. out of him, although uh, oh, the judges hated it, so never mind. Three red lights from the uh, referees. Possibly a bit too fast with uh, a bit more care required, but anyway. Chianti will be back. So next for the United States, it's Kevin Oga. Lives in Denver, Colorado. Uh, a former weightlifter who uh, got struck in the back during competition in 2014. That was able-bodied weightlifting. It was a, it was a, it was a very, very bad accident, obviously. So here he is, his first major uh, championship on this circuit. Christian, 172 for the lead. A few attempts at the 170s in this opening round, a few in the 190s as well. If he gets this, I have to uh, knock on a few kilos in order to get up the leaderboard. The higher lifts in the first round are up to 23 kilos heavier, so we'd have had to move it on a bit in round two, had that gone right. Task uh, one then for round two is just to get it right. And a bit of hesitation as well on the way up, you see the right hand too high, and uh, the head on shot wouldn't have shown the bar go backwards a bit as we'd have seen from uh, our side on view. three years ago but then in terms of the Americas had those two silver medals coached by Victor Rubila he's known as El Commando So this for the lead for Christina Gire at 1.75. to wobble in the arms, but despite that, two out of three on his side, and he's in the lead. Oh, well, that'll do nicely. The Chilean. Well, 
that has him in a very good place in the competition and good prospects of rising up the board. but didn't register a mark in the Europeans in Ega in 2015. He's going for 185 here, sudden acceleration. So now for Iran, the big names are coming out now, the reigning Asian Games champion from Incheon in 2014, defending his title in Kuala Lumpur next year, and bronze in Rio at the Paralympic Games, his third Paralympics bronze, he's done it at each of the last three for Iran, Ali Sarazare Zilamani, world championship silver medalist in Dubai, had been a bronze part of that in Kuala Lumpur. The man from Tehran, therefore, going at 190. Maybe he was expecting, aiming for that, would have got him into Group A, but no, he's in Group B. So a lot would have to go wrong following this in order for him to be a prime candidate. Give him a, a status here that his career up to now really surely deserves. Slow down, quick up. Ooh, two rights though. Now that's Spanner in the works for him. That reason being is that if he got that, he could have. Maybe gone for 200 in the next round, and that would have got him well up among the Group A weight, certainly those that have been tagged in the first round anyway, but he hasn't got it. He was just one white light away from uh, taking the lead. Katsuhito Nakatsuji of Japan out very quickly. Seventh in the World Championships in Kuala Lumpur in 2010. 
missed Dubai, been in the previous threes, coached by John Amos. So he's well known in para powerlifting circles with the uh, ludicrously light. Uh, 190 is the target this for the lead that's a bit tentative already isn't it let's see if we can pull it off we've oh, got the strain we get the straightness yeah three out of three that's it that's the job and he's into the lead now that gives him a foundation to have a go at the rest in group a That'll do for now. Precisely what he wanted to do. You'll see the uh, the hard work he had in uh, right at the start, but everything else was fine after that. Puts him in front. Navruz back. Abdurasilov of Uzbekistan in his first major championship. He did compete in the World Cup in Eger. And 195 is his first round target. Struggle on the uplift. Yes, yeah, none out of three. Three red lights. So. On the way back up, the problem's hit. So we have a 195 of the opening round uh, in Group A as well from Akawamla. So he's just edged out. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 127 kilograms for the seventh attempt from Chile. Marcos Matamala. So Marcos Matamala of Chile. Marcos Matamala. A national champion. Uh, turned 31 a few weeks ago. An Armistice Day, 11th of November. Twenty in the opening round. This for one two seven. And he's currently lying in third place of the nine first round attempts. Only three were successful, and Matamala was one of those. He's in a better position now than surely he could have imagined. Just got to 
technique problems more than the uh, actual. And this to put him into the bronze medal position for now, but obviously uh, we are early in the path of this competition. Yelk missed the 135. Doing better here. Looks better than his last one, and he's got it! Two white lights, he is away and clear. And he goes third. Did look better than his previous attempt anyway. So, uh, he got three red lights, just the one here. have elected to put an extra couple on this to put a bit of pressure on Ogar who missed at 172 Aguirre who's going for 177 and that depends if he's uh, smooth at 170 well, he's shaking the head he was really close to it got one white light from the central referee Ridwan Anan, but red from those on the side. But he thought he hadn't got it. Who's next? But where is he? The bar is loaded Somewhere to amongst the darkness. Kilograms for the second attempt from the United States of America. Kevin Ogar! Matches Kevin Ogar.
this at 172 last time, and that's the same he's going for again. That's the test. And he's there. Two out of three in his favor. And he goes into third place. Still Christian Aguirre of Chile and Katsuhito Nakatsuchi above him in the reckoning. And Kevin Ogar. Loaders. Having achieved 175 last time, he's not putting much extra on it. Chilean, 177. He's going for here. Such a quality feel to see major championship medalists, and in some cases reigning champions, down in Group B. Obviously, you can't win from Group B, you can medal from Group B. We've certainly seen the latter on occasion. Former it can happen, but not the thing I've been at. Same sort of rocky motion of the arms, the little flickers that we had with his previous round attempt, which was good, but this one is not. Three red lights. Loaders, please load the bar to 185 kilograms, red high 17. Uh, so, Aguirre left in the position of uh, where does he go from here? Does he try and go up to 180 or beyond? Uh, stick up to 177 and nail that. It won't change his position in the table if he stays there. Thank you. The bar is loaded to one hundred. Not too dissimilar to his first round attempt, which he attempt managed to squeak one. through two to Mihal one. Salva. Michal Salva for Salva. Poland. Missed 185 in the previous round, going for 185 again now. But he's okay. <laughs> Two to one. So he avoids the fate that he had in the European Championships two years ago where he had no mark. Instead he goes second. Aguirre is knocked down to third. So that, that helps a lot. The 
depending what happens in the rest of this round, may fancy ending up being the top dog in Group B. Spotted it very well. Now for a big Abdurasilov next for Uzbekistan. Thank you. He missed 195 in the opening round, and that was the heaviest attempt. He's the third last to go in this second round. We saw him in Edgar at the uh, World Cup event there. He they finished down the field a bit. Step up beyond 200. But the fact that all three referees press their red button probably swayed him and his team to stay at this mark. One minute. One nine five, is he? Does it right this time. Left hand was a little bit higher than the right on the way up, but he might be okay. Might get away with it, or might not. No lift. Three reds again. That's uh, torn it. Dressloff might have fancied uh, a nice high finish here. Loaders, please load the bar to, to 200 kilograms, red bar, 14. Thank you. Well, there's a little concern looking across from his coach, you'll see. For a second attempt from mm. Iran. Ali Sadek Sadeh Very much favour. So now for Iran, Ali Salezade Zomani. Six major championship medals. Medals in each of the last majors. Bronze in Rio at the Paralympic Games. Silver in the last World Championships in Dubai. And so, uh, gold in the Asian. in the first round of Group A. If he gets this, he'll be looking for more in round three. For 200. Okay, Zadeh Zomani. has gone to plan. Thank you. The bar is registering. Katsuhito. Yeah, I mean, look Suji. at the punch. He thought he got it. And then. Hey? Hey? The 
Katsuhito Nakatsuchi of Japan cleared 190 in the first round. He's going for 200 now. Seventh is his best result at a global championship race from Sakai. And that uh, best coming at the world seven years ago in Kuala Lumpur. a big platform if he gets it to shake things up amongst those who will follow. So far we've seen 17 attempts but only six successful lifts. So three of those coming in the first round, three so far in the second. Zero out of three in his favor. Three red Loaders, lights and please, the whole stadium bathed in red light. So yeah, we've only seen six successful attempts to date. Nobody's had uh, two of them, curiously. Matamala to get uh, round three underway. get up but again not very very much different from his first round attempt which uh, was a struggle for him too Thank you. so the, the uh, third and final round of group B and the man lying in sixth place for Chile Marcus Matamala the target here and again it won't affect his placing one way or the other <laughs> 60 is now and 60 will stay of whether this is successful or not. And it is successful. All he needed to do compared to the previous round was persuade one more of the referees and he did. He did. Well, he stays in sixth position, but he clears 127. And uh, that will be of pleasure to him. Again, there was that... Uh, if you like, that was manifested in the left arm. Wobbles, but he was fine in the end. Loaders, please, load the bar to 140 kilograms, red high 15. Well, he... We've seen Marcus Matamala become the first lifter to successfully get two of his marks. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 140 kilograms for our third and final attempt from Kazakhstan. Roman Yelgin. So Roman Yelgin 
aiming for 140 here, having missed 135 in the opening round. 137 successful in round two. Forty again wouldn't change the position, but it's it's such a leap to the next man at the table, being Kevin Ogar, who's lifted 32 kg more than this, and is looking to add even further himself. Well, Yelgen was close to it, but two red lights against him. And no progress, so he finishes on one, three, seven. And he looked quite close to that, but no joy. So Akaki Cicciarazzi of Georgia for the third time goes for 170. has missed out on uh, 170 twice already. Seventh in the last Europeans in Hungary. Away from Tbilisi. No white lights for his first attempt. One for the second one. Can he follow the pattern and make it two here? He will. He will. In fact, he got all three there. That's good news for him. He's on the board. He's up into fifth place. Knocks Yelgin down to sixth and Matamala to seventh. And the only two men with no lift so far yet to go in this final round. of them and I don't know if he'll be thinking ruefully and if only that had happened in round one he might have got himself into the top two by this stage so now for the United States it's Kevin Ogar needed two attempts to clear 172 Seven, seven, the target now to go into third place. Ogar looking to displace Christian Aguirre and get into the medals for now. But obviously, not quite reached the halfway point of the competition yet. And there's only going to be one outcome here. Mm. Three 
red lights and struggling to get it up all the way. Loaders, please load the bar to 178 kilograms. Red five, 18. Uh, so 172 is best, he's in fourth place. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 178 kilograms for a third and final attempt from Chile. Christian Aguirre So now, Christian Aguirre returns and 178, having missed 177 in the previous round, but scored with 175. And Aguirre will have uh, targets for the next Attention South American coaches, Power Games and uh, then leave it in two years' time for the next Para Pan Ams. Seven eight won't improve his overall uh, placement. At least he'll have added a few kg onto his mark. Gear A178. Remember his arms have wobbled quite a bit with his two attempts so far, but they gave him one, not the other. And the, the bar moved a little backwards there on the way up. So it will be three red lights. And one very, very big one. So he wraps up with 175, but as I say, had he got that or the 177, it wouldn't have made any difference to his placement. Gire is third for the moment. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 186 kilograms for a third attempt from Poland. Michał Salva. So Michał Salva again for Poland. Needed two attempts at 185. No more changes. Uh, it's this, it's uh, nearly an extra kilo on top, so we'll stay where he is. If he gets it, and he doesn't, no just the one right light in his favour. So he wouldn't have changed his position. And the three heaviest lifts of the second round will be the three heaviest lifts of the third. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 195 kilograms. So, uh, Durasilov yet to record a mark.
He's had two misses at this weight already. 195 to put him into the lead. Otherwise, it will be no mark for him in this competition. Nakatsuji currently in front on 190. off right in his previous wrongs. No. no. Three red lights that uh, again strayed a little bit, moving backwards and the well, wasn't straight going up either. So no mark for him. What doubt. Three attempts at the same weight and all missed. So two final attempts at 200. Competition could have been so different for the men with the three highest attempts. Look at Suji. After Rasselhoff. Ali Sade, Ali Misses at 190 and at 200, and going at 200 again as a result. Had he got that 200 previously, then I can see would have aimed higher. But he didn't, and he won't. previous international triumphs. So he said misses so far at 190 and at 200 after Rasselhoff has not registered a target. And this for the man from Tehran to avoid the same fate. This is for the lead. Got it right this time. And there's a lot of red on the board coming, and it's not out of three. He had thought he got it last time, but I think knew this time it wasn't going to go his way. So no mark registered for him. No lift. And finishes off the board. Red lights all the way again. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 200 kilograms for third attempt from Japan. Katsuhito Nakatsuchi. Katsuhito Nakatsuchi. Just wasn't what he wanted to do. So, final lift of. Group B, Katsuhito Nakatsuchi. His third and final attempt, he cleared 190. He's the best performer in Group B. And I could prove that even more by 10 kg if he gets this. So for 200, Katsuchi. He's really strained for each of his attempts. And the 200 kg no is no left. 
So 190 is best. He was still the best performer overall out of Group B. But all the attempts that we will see following this will be greater. Away it goes, exit stage down the middle. So that's Group B done. We move now to Group A. And more major championship medalists right across the board in this. The stand is brilliant in terms of those who are seeing. Best then in the previous group, 190, we go up to 195. And Haidara Al-Kawamla for Jordan. Never medaled at a major championship, but he has been fifth in the last two global events, the Paralympic Games in Rio and the World Championships in Dubai. So 195 for the lead and to wipe out <laughs> those we've already seen. Kawamla, 195. That's impressive uh, weights from here on in. Nakatsuji leading with 190. Could have got 200. Few there could have. Now that wasn't straight when it was down. Got it up. And two out of three. Loaders, please. Load it down to 200 kilograms. Red fire. And that's the lead for Al Kawamla, but still so, so long left in this competition. We kick off on the. Uh, to 107 kg category, the second heaviest of the men. As I was saying earlier, it's a little shuffling of the schedule. They're uh, trying a considerable amount of new things. A night session for day one, which uh, I suppose was a, a necessity for the shuttling of this championship, which is due to start at the end of September, but obviously the, uh, the earthquake could be connected compared to any major sporting event happening here in the aftermath. So, uh, send these to all concerned. Mohammed Ahmed now for Egypt going for 200. The Paralympic Games silver medalist from Rio last year and fourth in the last World Championship.
three years back in Dubai. So this to clear 200, Mohamed Ahmed. S certain swiftness in how he did it. And cleanness, Go! two out of three. He's away. He's our new leader. So next up, Zirgalbek Orospayev, he gunning for 200 as well, fourth in the Asian Games in Incheon three years ago for Bishkek and he was the flag carrier at the opening ceremony in Rio last year where he finished sixth in Rio Centro. Two hundred. Ah, two <laughs> red lights. Wasn't really sure about that one. Popped it off very quickly. Seem happy with it himself. to 210 kilograms for the first attempt from Uzbekistan. Nuridin Davlatov. For Uzbekistan, Nuridin Davlatov. Seventh at the Paralympic Games in Rio, and he's going for the heaviest we've seen so far of 210. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 215 kilograms for a first attempt from Serbia. 
Petar Milinkovic. Petar Milinkovic then for Serbia, going for 2.15 and the lead. European silver medalist two years ago in Eger. But didn't register a mark in the previous Europeans in Alexin in Russia. And he won a silver again in Eger. The 2017 World Cup held there in May. Again, didn't register a mark in Rio at the Paralympic Games. They've just gone in too high. Competes in international athletics too. for the lead. 2-1-5. Seems to have got that right. Go! Two out of three. He's our new leader. It's the fifth heaviest opening round attempt and if there are a few misses to follow in this opening round, Milinkovic is in with a big shot for a medal straight away. by Milinkovic and uh, it, it certainly makes next four think a little a few successes and a few misses here opens the competition wide up Milinkovic is going quite heavier for the second round he's just lifted 215 he wants to go for 225 next and that's what Anton Kriakov of Ukraine's about to go for here. That was like Castillo of Mexico, who was originally going for 222 and who would have been next to go, is now going for 228, the second heaviest in this opening round. And that'll be interesting to see if he can pull that off. Get the home crowd happy. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 225 kilograms for the first attempt from Ukraine. Anton Kriukov! Anton Kriukov, 2-2-5 is his target, the reigning European champion. Won the last two European crowns, Alexa 2013 and Eger 2015. Fifth at the Paris in Rio. And fifth in the World Championships three years ago, injured during the competition. Still finished fifth. He's a big unit, well, be it this way, 29 years old. Yep, he's got it. He's got two out of three, that's fine. And uh, Kriakov of Ukraine is our new leader. 225. That's what Milinkovic is aiming for next. And it, he would get past Kriakov in the head to head thanks to the lighter body weight.
That's brilliant. Yep. You immediately, his coach did. So did he. Thank you. And the, the light started flashing, but he knew he was good. He was there. Kilograms for a first attempt from Azerbaijan. Elshan Husseinov of Azerbaijan going for 2-2-7. Two, two, the world record holder set. Winning. Ege. No mark though in the Paralympic Games. His world record mark is 243. This is 227. Two men are aiming to go heavier in this first round. So his world record may be under threat. Zainov's attempt at 2-2-7. Two, two, Plenty of power and exertion. And accuracy, three out of three. That's the first of those who've had in this group A. And Zainov's our new leader, 227. That's a cracker. Got that absolutely spot on. Push through powerfully, successfully. to 228 kilograms for the first attempt from Mexico. Jose de Jesus Castillo. So, Jose de Jesus Castillo. And his first attempt at 228. It's originally going to be 222. Pan Am Games champion from Toronto two years ago, the reigning Pan Am champion. Bronze in Rio at the Paralympic Games and at the last Worlds in Dubai three years ago and also bronze in Ege at this year's World Cup in May. Two to eight for the lead. Ankovic clearing 2.15, Kriakov 2.25, Hasanov 2.27, Castillo now Castillo just it right by deciding not to go for the 2 2 2. Well, he's got that up there. I think he's happy and he has every right to be. Three out of three. He's our new leader on home soil in Mexico City. Jose de Jesus Castillo. That's the way to do it. And there's going to be major jostling in the next round. Looking at some of the early proposed marks that they're aiming for in round two. Castillo will be among them. 
So he leads, and when he carry that lead into round two, we're about to find out. Sotnam Pilji Engbaya. So from Angolia, Sotnam Pilji Engbaya. Paralympic Games bronze medalist at 88, a couple of weights down. Bronze in the Asian Games. In South Korea, it's from Ulaanbaatar. And it combines two very dangerous professions. He's in the army. Well, he's an accountant. <laughs> the heaviest attempt in the opening round, 230. Hussainov's world record, 243, set in the fourth round of that European Championships where he won the silver. Yeah. 230. Yeah. It's good. good, it's very good. Three out of three. And we have a new leader. And we've got a big competition on. The five heaviest weights have all been lifted here. And what we saw in Group B consigned to history. Hank Bayar, a leader on 230. I think there's a few who'll fancy a tilt at the world record. The way this has started off. So into round two, and uh, interesting one. Uh, Oris Bayev going again at 200. Some of those who lifted before him are going for heavier marks. And there's some absolute stonkers there. Soros by a cut right, he has three out of three, and he's on the board, and that's what he wanted. Goes to seventh position. If only he'd done that in the first round, he'd have been in a position maybe to go for medals, but right now, 227 is bronze, so maybe not. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 200 kilograms for a second attempt from Jordan. Haidara Al-Kawamli. So Haidara Al-Kawamli, who got 195 in the previous round, is going for 200 here for Jordan.
previously fifth and sixth the last two world championships and fifth in Rio right now he's eighth and this would put him up to seventh he'd be level with Ahmed and Raspayev Added on five here. Might have elected for a little bit more, but obviously you don't want to go too high. And ruin your chances altogether. Al-Kawamla for 200. That uh, right hand was above the left for uh, a bit of that, but they'll forgive him. Three out of three. That was smashing. So he uh, gains a spot, he goes into seventh place. But he needs to find another 27 kilograms at least for now to get up to the medals. Fifth place would right now need another 15 kg to match his best international achievement. Jordan winning gold at the last World Championships at the 88 category. Wait through Ruta Zakaria al -Junaidi. As there as we were saying was in that, he won the bronze at that weight. Now look where he is. And 10 kilograms from a second attempt from Uzbekistan. Nuridin Davidov. So Nuridin Davidov missed 210 in the first round, going for 210 here, which would put him into sixth place. He would still have him 17 kg outside of the medals. And now he did get a white light at 210 last time, two rates. Felt 215 wasn't worth risking. This would put him into sixth place. Davlatov for 2.10 to get on the board. Give himself a high finish at least. That didn't seem to cause him much trouble. <laughs> three out of three. Got it. And he goes sixth overall. But it would need a massive leap to get any higher realistically. Five attempts to go in this second round of the three. You can see them listed there on the main scoreboard. Yeah, good work. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 220 kilograms of a 7 to 10 from Egypt. Yeah, I loved it too. Mohammed Ahmed. Now here's a very interesting one. Mohamed Ahmed of Egypt to clear 200 in the opening round. He's currently in seventh place. He's going for 220. He's adding 20 kg to it to put him up into fifth position. And to put him just seven kilograms outside the medals. Don't you love a bit of ambition? After all, he did win silver. The Paralympic Games in Rio. in that lifted two three three started much higher there at two two five than he did here with the 200 so definitely knows he's capable of 220 that two three three needed two attempts in Rio two three three 
being attempted twice in this second round. 2 3 3 right now would be the lead, but obviously you be asking a lot if you started that, which is what Pavlos Namlos did, by the way, in Rio and cleared it. Missed the world record attempt, though. Ahmed, 2.20 for Egypt. That's what you call a struggle. And maybe that's why he went for 200 in the first place. It's uh, three red lights. Well, when you know, you know, and that's why he started at 200, which is way back, and what he kicked off with in Rio, the 225 in the Rio Centro complex. too much to do on the way up and this is out stays in seventh place at 200 well it gets really interesting from here we're about to see Peter Milinkovic of Serbia uh, he is in fifth and he's trying to go fourth to match the weight of Anton Kriakov of Ukraine in the opening round of 225. Kriakov himself is looking to hit the lead in round two, and nobody else Andrew, is going for a mark higher than Kriakov. Let's see how this pans out. A little higher. Increase of 10 for Milenkovic, and this to send him into fourth place for now. He would be 2 kg outside the medals. But if he'd added on the 2 kg here, he would not be in the medals, as he's 30 grams heavier than Elshan Zainov, who's in the bronze medal spot right now. Two two five. That was not straightforward. No. He got one white light all the same. And two red. So he's got some decisions to make. The coaching team as well, what they want to aim for in the next round. That was a weight not far off the medals wasn't far off getting it. Not necessarily uh, either from uh, our viewpoint that the, the left hand was a bit higher than the right in the way up. There will be an angle where that doesn't become apparent. is going his way. So now the prospects are going to get really mixed up at the front. Each of the next four attempts will be a shot at the lead. Two, three, two. Three, two, three. 
be a sign off of Azerbaijan currently in the bronze medal position looking for 232 in advance of five Elshan Husseinov of Azerbaijan, the, the physical sports are big there, it's combat sports too, light lifting and wrestling amongst them, world record hold it, Husseinov, first round, this going for 2-3-2, two, two. it was the bonus round, the fourth round, the world record round, Broke his own record in Hager at the European Championships. The previous world record in the Asian Open Championships in Almaty in Kazakhstan that July in 2015 of 242. Because Mamalos had gone to break that world record twice, 242 and a half. Say not said he'd have a go at 2-4-3 and Mamalos had two attempts at the 2-4-2 and missed it but had his one attempt and got it. So how about here? That is not going to work. That is not going to work. Stays third. No for the rest of the competition. For him. That occasion 2-3-2 as well. Not even a case of technique. It was just too heavy. So the next two attempts are again for the lead. Two Engpah of Mongolia is in the lead on 230. It's it. Head in terms of body weight for this time. I'd say the head is just Castillo of Mexico. This is the 2 3 3 and the lead. Two more to go after it in this second round. Castillo has left up degree since last year in Rio when he won the bronze. Championships. Still a good crowd here, despite it being uh, heading towards 10:30 in a Saturday night. There are things. Mexico City. I'm. I wouldn't know. It's my first Saturday. Theo, 2 3 3, currently in the silver medal position. This to move him to top spot. The crowd obviously love it because he's a homeboy. Oh, yes! Every right move is top of the pile. Two out of the three, giving it his way. Now, doesn't that open it up? A Mexican lead to Mexico City. Two more to go in this penultimate round. Stay out. Kind of at two, three, three. Jumped up a couple of weight, 
divisions. So he is two kilograms lighter in body weight than Castillo. Going again for 2-3-3, which we've just seen Castillo do, so this would put him in front. Successful at the heavier weight. He's back in the lead. 2-3-3. Uh, not met with the same reaction as the previous attempt. Thanks by our in the gold medal spot. Castillo in the silver. It was three out of three voting his way as well. This is where it gets really interesting. Because it's the man lying fourth who is aiming for the lead here. Anton Kruko is the reigning Represent European the champion. Anton Kruko. Anton Kruko. He's adding 10 to it, 2 2 5 in the first round. Oh, he's got it up there! He hasn't, has he? He has! Leaks from fourth to first. Anton Kriakov is in the gold medal position. He's on the brink. What a lift! He's our new leader. He's jumped from outside the medals into the position of the best medal of them all. That was a fantastic effort. Ukraine contingent national right in front of the stage. And they're on the brink of seeing something big. Smooth. It's a bit unusual to see a red Ukraine singlet. Not that national. There's a yellow and sky blue and there were singlets both that's a clear cup leading two three five he wants to go for 240 in the next round he's edging closer to that world record of Hussainov who missed two three two and will go for that again Thank the moment the Castillo and Engbayar two are, two are looking at two three five the lighter in weight than Chris did they get that? Kriakov misses that 240, then they go above him. More about that later. Alkawam Jordan going for 207. Now, what does that mean? That would mean seventh place.
final round this 107 kg final to 107 to kick off the 2017 World Power Powerlifting Championships in Mexico City. to go seventh. Oh. Do it. Do it. Well, it's eighth position for him. He may drop further, but it was a valiant try. He cleared the previous two. Lifts of 195 and 200. And you see, that wasn't straight there. It wasn't straight there, so he probably wasn't going to get it anyway. I thought it wouldn't raise any higher. So that was that. It was always going to be red lights, even if he'd lifted it up all the way from there. Uh, too much had gone wrong earlier. Thank you. Reverse loaded to 211 kilograms. Third and third. Fain Fain's control of the uh, same length of our current leader, Anton Kriyakov. Ready and waiting. Oh. Currently lying in ninth place is Sir Galbeck on SBF of Kyrgyzstan. 11 far from what he achieved in the second. This would put him. Good match. Finishing position of the Paralympics. I wonder if that's what he was thinking of. advance of what he's done previously tonight Jump from 200 to 211 and it is three red lights so it's off maybe a bit more than he could chew the world. Malaysia to the Middle East. 2.16 for Davlis off the attempt. Clear 10 attempt. This to put him fifth. Seventh. 
in Rio. Currently sixth now. Spotters had to get involved, yeah, and Davlatov will not improve any further. Six, the best for him, and he'll be knocked down to seventh after the next lifter. Just race it a bit too far, but it, uh, in terms of uh, what was happening, if he wanted to go an extra spot. Couldn't go 2.15, which is where Petr Milinkovic is, because Milinkovic is a lot lighter in body weight. So would have had the advantage in the head-to-head. Uh, -head. Milinkovic, meanwhile, Mohamed going after Mohamed Ahmed. This is the man who could not pull the top down to seventh place. That's Ahmed is right now. 200 in the first round, 220 missed in the second. 220. He's going for it here. Paralympic Games, silver medalist, and fourth in the last World Championships. for 220 and missed out quite majorly on it last time to struggle uh. as this is but he's got it raised this time not sure he'll get a lot no. of lights what he got one two reds so he misses out but he did get it right that time which was welcome Mohamed Akhmedov but he finishes in seventh place Eighth and ninth, all lifting 200. So we're down to the final five. And no matter what happens now, Peter Milenkovic will finish in fifth place as his final round attempt of 225 will not elevate him any higher. Right now, Hussein off is fourth and 227. Castillo and Ekbayar third and second and 233. Kliakov leading 235. Castillo and Ekbayar are going for 235. They'll overtake Kliakov in the body weight. They will tie with him. Kliakov's going for 240. That later, Milenkovic now in Serbia. Fifth for him. And fifth, no matter what he does here, is where he will finish. Best global placing in Rio. At the of the Rio Centro, European silver medalist. Gerwin Egger, silver medalist in that city at the World Cup event there in May. Loads of time for Milinkovic in terms of his lift here.
225. 222. What he missed out on in Rio at three attempts. That's not a bad effort. He's got it. He of the three. Well that it's fifth position for him. Now massive jostling for the medals. They got that spot on. It's really interesting. The chain off of Azerbaijan going now. 227 in the first round, missed 232 in the second. Going for 233 here. He would leap above Castillo and Enquiar on the head to head and the body weight into the silver medal position. They will both be having attempts at the gold. Kriyakov is currently there. in Eger at the World Cup in May. Former European champion. No mark registered in Rio. Fourth in London. That's the story of his last two Paralympics. Can he get this one raised? No, no, afraid not. That's, no, it is brave. He's had a really solid go at it. But 227 is his best of the night, and he is in fourth place. It gets even more interesting because Castillo and Enkbay are both going for 235, but Castillo is the heavier man. So if they both get it, well Castillo would miss out. So Castillo has to go for 236. Enkbay at 235 is lighter in body weight than Kriyakov. Enkbiar going for the gold, then Castillo will go for the gold, then Kriyakov will go for the gold. This is prime entertainment. And uh, a crowd all day. So first things first, Sodan and Pilji Enkbiar of Mongolia, who medaled in Rio, got the bronze there. He's cleared 230, he's cleared 233, and this is now a shot at 235. There's not a major spread between his three attempts, 5 kg. But I could win him the gold. Satisfied. Yes, they are! He's back in the lead! 235, Still two lifts to come to the side, the gold. Enkbayar currently 
heading for around his neck. But it could be silver, it could still be bronze. Such effort, such successful effort. The bar is loaded to 236 kilograms for the third attempt from Mexico. Jose de Jesus Castillo. Jose de Jesus Castillo. Six of Castillo. The Pan Am champion, the Paralympic bronze medalist, the world bronze medalist across the last four major championships. Right now, it is bronze for him. Successful, he goes into the lead with only Kirchhoff to follow. Going for gold and hot soil. He's got it. He's got the crowd roused. to 237 as opposed to the 240 he was originally looking at. Thank you. The bar is loaded to 237 kilograms for third and final It was really putting it up to him. But he got it made. And he knew. Confirmation he wanted. That was fast. Two, three, six. Priakov has seen himself drop. Press to third. Thanks to those lifts from Enkbayar and Enk Castillo. And on the body weight, Castillo just a shade lighter than. To go to 237. This is for the gold for Ukraine. And it's stalled on the way up. And the gold goes to Mexico. Kriakov, two reds. It's bronze for Ukraine, silver for Mongolia. And gold in the first men's event in Mexico City, New Mexico. Well, what a start to the competition for the hosts. Jose de Jesus Castillo won the gold for Mexico. We'll be bringing you the medal ceremony very shortly, so don't go anywhere. 
and the top three all very close to the world record mark, but they don't have thought about that. It's gold for Mexico after a real marathon session for Jose De Jesus. Very successful, the juniors, they won four medals, one of them gold, and they've won gold straight away here. Fantastic. Jesus Castillo, who is the world champion. The go is Pan Am Medal ceremony is on the way. It's been a long one. It's 10 minutes to 11. And the medal ceremony is coming up shortly.